Okay, I wanted to show you how I do uh, grade when I'm in tight quarters. Um, obviously, I'm not going real wide. I just want to basically get some drainage uh, to pull the water away from the front of the garage to the back and then around the back side of the house to keep the water from com coming across the, uh, the driveway so much. So what I'm doing is I'm sloping this back. I wanted to show you how I do it. I put my magnetic uh, instrument on here. It's actually saying we're a little bit low. I've uh, got my flat blade so I can get a pretty nice smooth cut. But I want to show you on the laser itself, I can set slope. I can actually angle, and it has to be in this direction only. It doesn't angle this way. So this is a RL, RLH4C top cone. That, I really like it. But what I do is I'll set it up uh, about where I think I need it, and I'll set an instrument, or I'll set the I, laser eye. I'll show you how I set it up here in a minute. But just wanted to show you I can actually use this laser. I can set the grade where I need it, and it will uh, it will follow through. Uh, makes it real easy. But I'm gonna I'm gonna actually turn that off and, and turn it back on. I've got this stick set. Also, we're within well, we're within about a half inch, maybe an inch there. We're a little bit low, but that's okay. I'd rather be a little low than a little high. It's probably gonna silt in a little bit. But now I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the laser off and turn it back on and it'll self-level. And we'll see how much fall we've got actually. So if I turn this off, and whenever I restart it now it's gonna blink until it resets. It's it's leveling inside. And uh, this will show show how much I didn't have very much, but I didn't, like I say, I don't want a whole lot. But if we, see now we're, we've got about two inches, which isn't bad for what, 30, 40 feet. We got two inches of fall there, but I'll show you how I set this up here in a second, because I've got to turn this corner I've got to go ahead and daylight this out from here back there and then I may end up pulling some out of the middle between the house and the garage. So I'll show you how I set it up. Um, I'm going to set my, since I've got this grade good, I'm going to set my instrument up and I'll aim it for the drainage ditch back there and then we'll set up the slope. So for this to work right, I need to have this vertical when I'm shooting grade with the bucket. Right now I'm at grade where I want to start. So we're gonna, I'm gonna actually aim, here's some, there's some sights on top of here and you can actually, because whenever you angle this laser, it's gonna angle only in one plane. So it's always gonna be level this way, but we can actually angle this way downhill and get great. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use these sights and I'm gonna aim for the center of that low spot of that ditch down there and then what I'm gonna do first is turn it on let's tighten this up and what it's gonna do now uh, you can kind of see it moving in there once it gets level we get her good and level and it'll start running I probably should have had this uh, anyway Come on, don't make a liar out of it. There it goes. Okay, our laser's running. Now what we're going to do, since we're good here, I'm going to actually move this up to where we've got a green light. And I've got this on machine dig. You can set the, this is actually Spectre Precision. Uh, precision. Um, Topcon makes one too, but it's a little bit higher than this one. So. And these, you know, you don't you don't want to spend 
Actually, you shouldn't put it on a bucket like this. It's made to go on a stick, but I find this is way more accurate for doing small small drainage jobs like this. If you don't have a guy shooting grade for you, this saves a lot of trouble. So I set this here. Okay, now what I'm gonna do next is I will actually set this stick at the same elevation to where we're level. And what, what do I got to do now? Go down here to where we're actually shooting. Let's see how much fall we've got here. Okay, here's level. So basically, if I can set the angle, if I can set my bucket here, and I'll shoot grade and then I'll, I'll show you how I get the, actually, I'll probably set it down at the bottom here, but I probably want to slope it from here to there. So all I'm doing there is I'm seeing how much fall I've got, if I actually do have fall, and I do. And there's a little more, I've got a little more room to work back here, so. Now we'll set up the, uh, later. I'll set my bucket down there. Now it's actually, gee, we've got about four inches, actually, maybe six. Got about six inches to fall. So we're going to set this down where it just touches the ground. And then I will show you how I set up the, uh, the laser to match the slope. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch the laser eye and we're gonna hit the slope button while it's turning. And it's here in a second, we should hear, we should see a red light and a beep. We're actually dropping the laser beam down to that grade. Takes a little while to go that far. We've got about six inches of slope there. That's that may be a bit much, but we've got room to work it. I think. Okay, there we go. we got our first beep and it's pointing up. That means we need to keep going down till we get a green light on the bucket, and we're just continuing to just continuing to hold this button in. When this is blinking, it's moving. There we got a green light. Oh, you can see it with this camera. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. So as long as I don't disturb this base, and you got to remember we're not shooting level anymore. We're on slope, so this light of that green light's lit up. I don't know if you can tell it. There you go. So you don't want to bump it now because once this is set, you got to go through this process to reset it. So, but it's set to shoot. Uh, we, we should be able to shoot grade from here to there and keep the slope constant all the way there.
So that's what I've been working on today, a little driveway project. We're gonna put some more rock on it. Made a little turnaround area here for uh, backing out and turning around. I'm gonna widen that when we get some more rock up here. It's a little bit narrow. I think it needs to shift out just a bit more. Um, put in some, uh, we call it river rock or smooth rock in this area here. For, um, they wanted something they can walk barefoot on, you know. Um, did a little, dug this out just a little bit, kind of let the water drain a little better. And then uh, there's some drainage. We cut around here with the laser on the backhoe. And I've got this sloping. From here to there is about six inches fall, and then from here to the front is about two. And once I build that up with a little gravel, it'll look a little better. It, um, and they're still going to get some water down through here probably, but this should kind of, this should help keeping that from, uh, keeping that from washing out. Uh, kind of dressed this up with some extra dirt we had there, and, uh, Waiting on the rock truck now. 